Jared Wright, who has stopped by. Hi, Mel. Jared, great to see you here today. Great to see you guys. Now, Cody Anderson is supposed to go tonight. Uh, and we were talking a little bit about a rookie in big situations, pitching in big games down the stretch, exactly what you did in 1997. What's that like? What kind of pressure is Cody going through? Uh, being a young guy, it was... Uh I really didn't think about the pressure too much. I think the game got harder for me as I got older and everything started to hurt a little bit more. <laughs> but uh, I, think, I think being young, you, you kind of, you got to relish that situation. You have to enjoy it and realize, Runners hey, I could help my team out. I could buckle down and try to get it done. And you sure did a lot of that, too. We're watching the, some of your highlights from your rookie year, and you really had it going that year, too. You had to feel pretty good about what you did and how you were able to contribute to a World Series team. It, it was amazing. I mean, the, the ride I was on being 21 was, uh, you know, I, I couldn't have imagined it, how fast I would have gone starting in double A that year. And, uh, you know, it's something I'll, I'll never forget. It, it was amazing to be a part of the teams. The guys I got to play with was uh, was super for me and coming back it just brings back a lot of good memories. Jared fast forward now to this rotation a ton of young guys with amazing arsenals you got you were a power pitcher Bartolo Colon you guys one of the best one two punches now you look at the top of this rotation Corey Kluber won the Cy Young last year Carlos Carrasco had he not gone on the DL possibly a dark horse candidate and then you have Danny Salazar and Trevor Bauer four guys that have exceptional stuff a lot of strikeouts is there something that when you were in the rotation, you had guys that were ahead of you. Was there a mini competition? Because it seems like with these guys, they're trying to one-up each other every time. Yeah, which is amazing, which is great. You want to, I mean, I, I was fortunate enough to have guys like, you know, Hershiser, Charlie Nagy was, I mean, the best of the best to try and teach me how to pitch. I think when you have stuff and you go out there, learning how to translate into pitching and saving your pitches and not having to throw if you can throw hard, not having to throw 98, 99 every pitch. And uh, just learning what hitters are trying to do. And I think those guys feeding off each other is it's a really good situation. Now we had Danny Salazar who started in 2013, that wild card game. Obviously you pitched in the postseason. We know watching him as a young kid and as a rookie handling that stage. Obviously you were there as well. And, and just take us back and how the mindset was preparing for that and the pressure and, and going against a pretty formidable team as well. Yeah, I think you have to go into any, I mean, any star any playoff game any World Series game you have to think that you're the baddest dude out there that's the mindset I mean it's not uh, you can't have any I mean you're gonna be nervous you're gonna have a little bit of fear but you got to control that and stay relaxed because uh, I think what I was taught um, which got harder as my career went on but whoever can stay the most relaxed in those pressure situations are the ones you're gonna come out on top mainly and Jared, when you look at this club now, this Indians team has, I mean, for most of the season, it wasn't really in contention. Now it is suddenly in September. Yeah. What's been the difference that you've seen for this team over the last couple of months that has led to this 2015 team have a shot at October? It just, I mean, it looks like, I mean, obviously they've pitched well all year. It just looks like they're having more fun. The, the group's together, uh, Lindor coming through. It's, uh, it's a good situation right now. I think everything, when, you, when you're having fun, and enjoying winning, which winning, I don't know which one comes first, but <laughs> but they kind of, you know, feed off each other. But if you're having fun and winning, it's uh, it, it, good things can happen. Jared, it's great to see you here again. Thanks for stopping by. Let's do it again Thanks soon. for having me, guys. You got it. Jared Wright joining us here on Thanks the set you, of Thanks. Indians Live.